हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू रन एन जी नेटवर्क ग्रुप आई एम अनुभव एंड आई एम योर ट्रेनर लेट्स टॉक विट अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई हैव अ फोर पिल आई हैव डन बी सी एंड आई हैव अ फोर पिल एक्सपीरियंस इन नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज अ साइबर सिक्योरिटी इंजीनियर इन आई टी एम एन सी सो आई विल आई विल टीच अबाउट समथिंग वाट इज़ फाइव ऑल एंड वाट इज़ द रोल ऑफ द फाइव ऑल इंजीनियर एंड how to do that how what is the responsibility of the firewall engineer and how to be a firewall engineer and we have a lots of topics so we will cover so moving on and now we have a some ppt so then now first topic is what is firewall engineer so what so what firewall engineer do like if you want to be a firewall engineer so how how to do that and how can be your firewall engineer so firewall engineer design build and manage your security infra of information security and is installing the hardware configuration of firewall set up the vpn adding the upgrade the os like lots of things you have to do that if you will go towards the firewall security and uh, we have a uh, some firewall vendor like in now our market we have a uh, some market challenges in the market like we have a uh, parolto we have a uh, fortinet we have a juniper and we have a cisco now we have a latest one checkpoint so they are the market vendor so they are just challenges to between them and then we have a responsibility of the firewall engineer so what firewall engineer do in the basic life so first we have designed the security system how your policy transfer and how be your pass the traffic from in to out so you can you can you can to do that in firewall security and what is the install and how to maintain the firewall and if you are facing some issue so what will you do to troubleshooting the problem and you have to do the documentation like you have a firewall and you have a netro diagram so how how to be create the firewall diagram and what um, what important things you require to be a create a documentation and ensure compliance because compliance is the most most important part of the firewall like if you will do create any policy and if you don't know what will be the impact it is secure or yeah, not so you have to follow some rule which is related to the compliance so this is the most one important if you are doing something and then we have a checkpoint firewall like what what we have done now what is the firewall engineer and what is your responsibility in firewall and then we have a checkpoint firewall so checkpoint firewall is the latest one so i'm just uh, looking you the firewall what type of firewall like what is the hardware applies and how to be looked at you can see in my screen this is my firewall and this is the usb port and then we have our network card we have a rj45 port and when rj45 port is used to connect the port like your lan connect connectivity and your wan connectivity we have a lcd dis display if you are getting some error so you will look into the display and we have a ac power supply so you will look into my screen we have a two redundancy appliance if one is fails second will be overtake so we have a lots of topic then we will cover in the firewall and then we have a uh, now we have a two version in the checkpoint one is one is the r77.30 and second one is the r80.10 so this they are the major version now we have a 80.10 r88.20 lots of things so let's go to the detail what will be learned in the checkpoint firewall so like we have a introduction of checkpoint firewall so what types of firewall and what is the history of the checkpoint firewall why will you use the checkpoint firewall if i have a lots of vendor so what is the need of the checkpoint firewall and what is the packet flow of the checkpoint firewall like we have a we have a if your packet hit on the firewall so what is that it will follow by the checkpoint firewall and it is it is really secure so you have to follow them and we have a component of the checkpoint firewall what is the component and then we have a firewall deployment like you we have a two deployment in the firewall first one in the stand alone the second one the distributed environment so we will discuss and we have a three layer architecture and what is a component is the three layer architecture 
and then we have a down, uh, ISO image how to be download the ISO like if you want to be create the checkpoint firewall if you want to be install the firewall so you need the image and how to you download from the website and what step you need to follow and we have a complete lab setup how to configure the firewall and how to install the firewall and what is the resources are required and then like in the firewall checkpoint firewall we have a two major component one is the checkpoint management and second one is the gateway if you want to be configure the policy so you need the checkpoint management and you want to be activate the policy you need the gateway so we will get into the detail now we are just summarize the topic and then we will get into it and then we have a adding the checkpoint gateway with management server how to be connect the gateway and how to be configure the management server how to trust the relationship between gateway and management this is the major one because your gateway and management server will be will be communicate to each one and then we have a rules and policy what types of rule and how many types of policy how to create and how to validate the policy how to push the policy if you want to be push the policy first of all you have to check your policy is valid or not then you are creating the policy and you are not sure about it your policy is valid or not so might be you are getting a error and whatever you are getting like uh, like something you are getting error and it will mention on the policy because this collapsed to someone else so you have to check that and we have a complete lab setup like how to configure and how to install and how to if you have a desktop or laptop so in your system you you can create your lab and you you are make sure about every topic like you have complete setup in your home system so you will get into a it's very lab environment we will create them and then we have a major component is the checkpoint firewall one is the smart view tracker if you analyze the logs like you are getting the logs and you want to make sure your traffic is passing on your firewall or not so you have to check on the smart view tracker and then we have a smart update like uh, if you are installing any software uh, any version so you need license so you can check in the smart view update your license is valid or not yeah how many types of li license in your checkpoint firewall and you what type of firewall you have you have a what type of blade you you can do you are filtering your note you have a VPN license your note and how many user connect at a time in the VPN so you can make sure in the smart view update and we have a smart monitor how to uh, in your checkpoint you have a CPU you have a RAM like your system and how CPU and how ma how much RAM you are utilize now and what is the left so you can check it in the smart man monitor and then we have a net what types of net and how to do net and what is the net configuration like if your system is your network and you want to communicate over the internet so you need the net this is a major one so this is a like a routing is routing concept but it will follow on the firewall and what is the VPN like we have what what is the use of the VPN and how to configure the VPN and then we have a checkpoint clustering now now uh, what is the load balancing and what is the load sharing like uh, in the clustering we will make sure if we have a two gateway and we want to make sure uh, one gateway will be up every, every time so you have to maintain the clustering and then we have a troubleshooting like how to configure the how to configure the checkpoint firewall and if you are facing some issue while configuring the checkpoint firewall so you can troubleshoot them like you if you are doing job in your company and you are facing some issue so you need some CLI command and you have to debug the problem so this, this is all the lab base and then you will you will learn the most things how to be that and what is the major role of the firewall and then we have a firewall what is the role of the firewall like we are learning the firewall and we don't know about the firewall so firewall is a networking device which which differentiate between trusted and non-trusted network it filtered the traffic based on the rules like we have a firewall and we have a two zone one is trust and second one non-trusted if you are in the LAN network, this is the trusted. If you are out of internet, like someone is accessing your system, this is the non-trusted network. So you will create the rule. 
which uh, which traffic you want to be allowed and which traffic you don't want to be allowed and how to filter the rules so you need to create the rules and then we have a firewall how many types of firewall and what is the category it's just category wise like uh, we have a packet filtering we have a circuit base we have a stateful inspection which is, which is developed by the checkpoint firewall that's why we are using the stateful inspection in, in the stateful inspection just uh, it maintain the state table like uh, if it maintain the record this is on my traffic so it will allow my traffic otherwise it will drop that traffic and then we have a mode uh, firewall we have a two three mode like software firewall we have a hardware firewall we have a cloud cloud is a new one like uh, we will provide a cloud service and we will configure the firewall based on the cloud network and we don't need to be any source in my network that we will we will divert the traffic on the cloud so thank you thank you so much for attending the course so this is the small slide which i have provided you and then we will cover the later thank you so much